Welcome, welcome back. This is, uh, this is the Amajack. We got Gunslinger Suicidal Verticality. I like this map. I haven't been playing on it because we've been doing Hell on Earth, and I feel like this map's probably a little bit too difficult for me on Hell on Earth. But since we're on Suicidal right now to, to get back up to, uh, to 25, I feel like, hey, you know, why not just, uh, why not just do it? You've uh, got a good opportunity here to to get the uh, the fun maps out of the way, the fun harder maps, and uh, I'm gonna take it. So we've got uh, we got the stream in about an hour and a, about an hour and fifteen minutes or so. I'm hoping to get this and a Yamajack tries done before the stream. That's my uh, that's my goal. I said I was gonna record some more last night because my mother was working. I believe she's doing that again tonight, so I, I just put it off till today. Um, so. There's that, I guess. <laughs> um, but it was nice having that Yamajack tries recorded ahead of time. I mean, obviously having the backlog is a good thing. Um, so it makes my life easier because I'm able to... Uh, you know, I'm able to properly... Like, do things and, and feel a little bit more relaxed. And, uh, like, things are happening the way that I want them to be happening. And uh, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's really, really good having the backlog. But um, what I did today... They did not lay a claw. Was uh, I'm was I, uh, I I like ramen, right? We're gonna talk about the important topics now. I like <laughs> I like ramen. I eat ramen uh, fairly frequently. Um, typically instant ramen, you know. The most I'll uh, I'll generally do is uh, is I'll take some like, noodles out of an instant ramen package, and then uh, I'll make my own broth and, and add in some uh, like a soft boiled egg and. Uh, green onions and maybe some some pork or something and make uh, make a nice little thing. But I just don't want to make the noodles because that's a whole that's a whole thing in itself. But uh, today I had uh, some like spicy Chinese. It looked like I'm not I'm not sure um, soup thing, which was uh, very similar to ramen, but it was it was like ramyun or something. I'm not sure. Whatever, whatever country that's from, whether it's Japan or China or Taiwan or Korea or who knows where. I'm guessing maybe Korean. Um, since I think Koreans like spicy stuff, but like I have, I have, I have no clue whatsoever. Uh, anyway, it was uh, it was some kind of uh, very Asian um, packaging on it, and I couldn't read like any of it. Um, but apparently, <laughs> apparently, uh, it was it was spicy ramen. It was it was spicy ramen. And, uh, you know, when I make ramen, I'll typically add a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of hot sauce into it and kind of zhuzh it up a little bit that way, and I like it, and it's good, and I put in the amount of hot sauce that, uh, that I'm okay with, <laughs> and, uh, this ramen was just leaps and bounds ahead of that. It was ridiculously spicy. It took me probably, like, 25 minutes to eat it, you know, and, uh... It was just, it was, it was, it was so hot. It was, like, unbearably hot. It was, it was hard to eat. Um, now, did I eat it all? Yeah, of course. And did I drink the broth afterwards? Yeah, of course I did. And, uh, was it a, was it a particularly enjoyable experience? Yeah, yeah, I would say it was. I like spicy food, um, but that's probably one of the spiciest things I've ever eaten. I've got another, like, nine of them. And, uh, I mean, I'll tell you, <laughs> it's not... It's not going to be a daily occurrence. I mean, it can't be because uh, I can't eat it when my sister's home anyway because it has uh, manufactured in a facility that also processes peanuts. Although we don't think she's allergic to peanuts anymore anyway. Um, so that's, you know, good. But we have to finish getting it tested and then, like, COVID happened and we weren't able to get the testing done for it. And it's a whole, whole dealio. But, you know, for now we're still assuming she's, uh... We're assuming that she is still... Uh, affected by peanuts, so can't have it while she's around, and I have to make sure to clean everything up. So it's like a whole process to, to be able to, to eat it in the first place. Um, so I can't eat it every time, like every day, anyway. Um, but I wouldn't want to because that was ridiculously hot. Uh, I've got nine of them. I'm thinking next time I'm gonna just uh, like I liked it. It was it was a good soup. Uh, I think I would have liked it more if it were less spicy. So I'm thinking next time I'll. Uh, I'll, I'll put in like less of the packet, less of the flavoring packet, uh, or or alternatively, I'll just use those for my noodles that I uh, 
that I make just uh, my own stuff with, which would be good because the noodles themselves are like pretty good. Um, and no complaints there. It was just the uh, the packet, the flavoring packet was ridiculously spicy. Like I couldn't read the <laughs> the things. It was all in the. Uh, it was all in uh, I believe Chinese. Um, I didn't I didn't see any kana. I didn't see any Korean characters. Um, so it would have been Chinese or, or some other Asian place. But I'm, I'm I don't know. Like Korean sounds right to me because I, I think that it uh, it would have been similar to like Korean soups because I feel like they do spicy stuff typically, like uh, kimchi and whatnot is is spicy I believe. Um, but I don't think I, I don't see any Korean characters. So Korean characters are super recognizable. Um, if you if you know what you're like looking at, you know. Like, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't explain what it is, but I feel like they're, um, like, off the top of my head. Like, I don't know if this is right. I'd have to see them, and I'd be like, oh, yeah, like, this is what's telling me that that's Korean. Um, but I feel like they're very, like, lots of, lots of circle-y bits and lots of loopy bits, you know? And then, uh, Chinese characters are just kanji. Which, uh, sometimes I can understand what it's saying. Very, very rarely. Um, because a lot of the, like, uh, you know, Japanese basically just took the kanji that's that's what it is um, and there there's is a little like Japanese kanji is, is a little bit different um, they've kind of evolved in different ways since they've uh, since they've kind of taken on the kanji um, but you know they're, uh, they're they're fairly recognizable anyway sometimes I don't I don't recognize most of the Japanese kanji either though right uh, so I, th I feel like that's my problem but um, and Japanese obviously has uh, has like kana and stuff in it, which I can recognize and read. Um, and I didn't see any of that on the packaging, so I'm assuming it's Chinese. Anyway, that's like really just doesn't matter. It's like the least important factor. It was really dang hot, dude. And uh, the thing with spicy food is, for me anyway, it like actually affects my like body temperature to a certain extent. Um, which is bad because. Uh, I'm really hot. <laughs> I'm really hot right now. And uh, I have to record a lot of videos today. I've got to record this episode and then a KF2 episode after this, or a Yamashek Tries episode after this, uh, ideally. And then um, maybe another KF2 episode after this. I'm not sure. It'll depend on how much time I have. I still haven't picked out a game even for the Yamashek Tries. So I'd have to do that. And uh, well, that's like a whole. Jeez, really? That's the whole thing, so. Um, but, anyway. I'll, I'll have to record that. I gotta do three hours of streaming later. We're gonna be playing uh, a few games on the stream. Three of them. And then those will go up uh, one hour a day for Saturday, or for today, tomorrow, and then Sunday. And then, um. I have to go and do some more recording afterwards to, to finish up all the stuff that I, uh, I didn't get done in time today. And then. Then I can finally put on my fan and cool down. <laughs> it's like, it's going to be a hot day. I started off bad, you know. Had fun. Had fun. It was a, it was an enjoyable experience having that ramen. But uh, I'm still feeling it, man. I'm still feeling it. Uh, as for the sleep and stuff and the, the being on schedule and on time and, and getting stuff uh, going right, uh, not so great yet. <laughs> I did go to bed at a better time. Well, I didn't go to bed at a better time, but I fell asleep at a better time. Um, I went to bed at about 3 a.m., which was a bad idea. I should have gone to bed earlier. Um, but I got distracted with RuneScape. I saw this uh, this one quest that um, would give me like 50,000 magic XP, and I had like 20,000 total. And I'm like, oh, this is going to be a dope quick chat. I'm going to quick chat it before the XP reward, and then I'm going to quick chat it, chat it after. And people are going to be like, how did you get 11 levels in in one go what the heck did you just do and uh i did it and then it was really fun <laughs> and it was worth it uh but i'm really tired right now um i fell asleep like probably 4 a.m after i uh, laid in bed for a bit like i have to go to bed before i actually want to fall asleep because i can't fall asleep immediately i have to unless i'm like ridiculously tired i can't fall asleep immediately i have to lay in bed for a while and then uh uh, like eventually decide that I'm going to start sleeping, you know. And at that point in time, I'll be able to fall asleep a lot easier. So I fell asleep around four, got up at ten, 
That's my uh, my current wake up schedule. I want to wake up at nine uh, going forward, but I'm uh, I'm not pushing myself that hard just yet. I'm already insanely tired throughout the day, um, so I uh, I want to make sure that um, I, I at least have the the energy to be able to record and stream for 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 the whole day, right? Because that would suck if uh, if I just like don't get enough sleep and then I'm like streaming and I'm just like. Yeah, um, what are we doing? Yeah, it would just suck. It would be super unentertaining, so. I'm going to give myself a little bit of a, uh, of a, uh, leeway with that. A little bit of leeway with that. So I'd begin off at 10 instead of 9. 9 will be better, um, because I would have, yeah, I'd, I'd have had an extra hour to have, uh, been productive today already. Um... Which would be really, really nice, because it means I would have had like two episodes recorded, two episodes of KF2 recorded already. Um, what I mean would have meant that I did less last night, but so that's not productive work, right? I, I, I'm sacrificing productivity for uh, for fun, and I think that the problem is, uh, is that I don't have that uh, that feeling of like urgency, right? Jeez, dude, what's with all the crawlers? Right, like I don't have that uh, sense of urgency that you get with uh, with the job, because like. If I wake up two hours late, I'm inconvenienced, right? That's that's unfun. I don't want that. But ultimately, um, you know, it, if I go to bed earlier than I want to, I'm also inconvenienced, right? So it's kind of like, uh, you know, short term, short term gain for long term loss or whatever. You know, like where I'm, I'm trading off uh, my my long term productivity for for some like short term enjoyment, immediate gratification, uh, which is a, is a bad thing. Um, right, and I want to make sure that I'm fixing that, and, uh, it's, um, yeah, so I've got to, and, uh, so let, let's say you're working at a real job, right, if I'm two hours late here, no big deal, I'm inconvenienced, if I'm working at, like, McDonald's or something, and I'm two hours late every single day for a week, I'm fired, I don't have a job anymore, right? Um, and that that same like level of, of risk isn't there for me because as long as I get the videos up on time, it's it's all good, right? And so I have this like I just put it off to the last minute, kind of like uh, feeling like uh, I got to make sure that I'm not uh, I'm not I'm not uh, procrastinating too much, and I'm I'm getting stuff done uh, as it needs to be get as it needs to be done, because uh, in my, in the end my life is gonna be better, and that's kind of something that you can take with you for everywhere, and it's kind of a a pretty common uh, problem that people have, and a, a pretty common you know, thing for people to be working on, especially uh, as you're going to school and whatnot, leaving your exams for, for last second or whatever, and um, if you're working as a contractor, leaving your work for the last moment, and, you know, it's, it's a common thing that, uh, that people do, and that's uh, definitely something that I'm, I'm, uh, I'm having here and now working with, uh, with this online thing, because it's, it's, it's a lot less time sensitive, other than the stream, uh, which I am perfectly fine with getting on time for, so... You know, it is that time-sensitive work that uh, that actually makes it so that I'm on time. You know, when when it's time-sensitive, then I make it on time. It's just like that. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I can find a way to make it time-sensitive so that I I have to show up on time. But that would be really bad because if I'm if I happen to be late, if I happen to be late for a stream, like you know, stuff happens, right? Like, if something comes up and I can't make it to a stream, that's that's one thing. If something comes up and I can't make it to, like, a recording session, like, I want to have enough of a backlog that it doesn't matter, right? Which, in the end, means that I'm not using that backlog wisely. Um, so I have, to, I, have to just, I have to just make it a see ya. Make it a personal goal and uh, work on it as, I, uh, as much as I can and uh, improve it as much as I can. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be a problem going forward. For sure. Cause this isn't sustainable, what I'm doing right now. It's just not. Um, getting it done the way that I should be getting it done is 100% sustainable. Um, until I need to get a job. Uh, and then it's not, of course, because I don't have that time. Um, but, you know, for, for now anyway, um, getting it done as I want to and make sure that I have the backlog and I'm spending the adequate time on it, that is, that is sustainable for... Well, if I eventually get the money I need from it, then, you know, indefinitely. Uh, whereas this, I'm going to get burnt out really, really quickly. Uh, so I have to I have to make sure that I'm working on that. 
<laughs> Just another thing to add to the list of things to work on, you know? But it's okay. I'm, uh, I'm happy to have a lot of things to work on. I'm happy for it. It's good. It's good. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess we're going to be doing three verticalities because these are really quick. But, <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and upgrade that as well. Uh, what else do we talk about? What else do we talk about? Yeah, I don't know, man. It was just the... What on earth? I was just the, the spicy ramen, which really messed up my day. It was good. It was good. But, oh boy. I still feel it. I still feel it deep in my bones. Mostly the, uh, the, the, the tongue bone, but... Hey, that's a bone too, right? Tongue? It's the best bone. Yes, I know, I know, I know. It's a muscle. Don't, don't, don't at me. Don't at me. I uploaded that, uh, that Vindicta kill last night. It was, uh... It was good. It actually, it did really well. I've got, like, 12 views on it or something like that. I should probably open, uh... Probably put up more PVM stuff on, uh, RuneScape. Because I got, I got a subscriber from that. Um... Got a couple of likes on the video, got a few comments, like plenty of views. Did really well. <laughs> I need to do more RuneScape content. Is, is what I'm kind of picking up from this, you know? I need to do more RuneScape content. I don't know. I'm not uh, I'm not super good at the game. But uh, I, I'm probably I'm in the upper I'm in the upper echelon of uh, RuneScape PVMers. Um and then there's a whole nother, like, top tier upper echelon beyond me that's just ridiculous. Well, there's actually, like, there's, like, two steps, right? There's two steps above me. There's the, uh, it's like, uh, you know, there's a lot of people. I'm, I'm like, in the bottom ranks of my echelon, you know? Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, you know, there's all the people above me who are, uh, you know, in the same, like, general skill level as me who just do it better. Um... And then there's the people who are, like, just even, like, a step further, right? Like, a step beyond me and, uh, and all the other people even above me. And then uh, and then there's the people who are, like, above them, like uh, Evil Lucario and um, Base Tank and all of them. Who are just uh, insane PVMers. Like, oh. Like, I can do Telus. I can do Telus. Like, I can, uh, I can streak Telus up to... I've done up to 122 so far, but I've only claimed it because uh, I got onyxes, and I was like, "Yeah, I want that. <laughs> I want that." I'm not, I'm not confident to, to streak too far yet, but um, I can't really die there anymore unless I make just a stupid mistake. So uh, I can push the enrage higher. I don't know what my limit is because I haven't found it yet, but uh, I'm thinking it's probably somewhere around the 250-300% range. Um, and I think that's a it's a pretty good pretty good rate in rage to be pushing up to. I mean, I'm pretty good at it. I just gotta get uh, some more stuff going on. But um, yeah, it was it was like a really good performing video. It it blew me away because I didn't even put any time into that. I had music playing in the background, and I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna record this, and then like you know, put it up because uh, it's fun. Uh, I do a lot of Vindicta, and uh, it was uh, it was good fun to. Um... Also, by the way, if uh, if y'all didn't know, uh, I don't know why y'all wouldn't know, but if y'all don't know, I do uh, I do PVM streams in RuneScape on uh, on Tuesdays from fourteen hundred to seventeen hundred Pacific time. That's two p.m. to uh, five p.m. Pacific time. I, I do some PVM on Tuesdays. So if you guys enjoyed the uh, the Vindicta kill. If you guys had fun with that and you liked it, then uh, either you know follow my uh, my Twitch channel or uh, check out the vods as they go live. You know the Twitch is better because you're live, but uh, the vods are there as well. Uh, I don't really do too much like high tier PVM on it yet. We're doing Greg right now, um, which is like pretty. I'm not really doing much, <laughs> um, but it's there. We'll be doing some Telos and Rage streaking eventually. Um, racks and stuff as well, but for right now it's Greg, so I want to get the, the dang glaive so I can finish the, uh, the thing. You know, it's, uh, that stream, that first stream with the, uh, on Tuesday, that first one that I did, it was, uh, it's 
not letting me make highlights and clips and stuff of it, so I wanted to highlight the end where we got the uh, the anima core body as I was calling a glaive and then it wasn't and I was super salty because I thought that was a great moment and uh, it wasn't letting me highlight, it wasn't letting me clip it, it wasn't letting me do nothing, so uh, very mad about that, but what can you do? The other ones are made, letting me clip it and uh, do stuff with it, so you know, I guess it was just that day I did something wrong, um, I guess. But, eh, it's, it, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Um, eh. It's fine. It's fine. It's been fun. Um, I have the uh, the Death Gambit videos going up live. If you guys are watching them, uh, towards the end I get super salty. Uh, I do like the game. I, I, I think I've said it before, but I do like the game. We will be continuing to play it. Um, we will be playing it for probably a few months. Um, like three hours a day, or three hours a week. I'm expecting like 20, 30 hours out of it. That's like many months, right? So, we got, so I've got quite a lot of content coming up from, uh, from the Death Gambit. Which is uh, which is good, and uh, those videos are going live. I think they're fine. It's nice to have them up. We got a new thumbnail coming up soon for it, but you know, new thumbnails for everything, so that's should be no surprise. I made those ones myself. They're bad. They're real bad. I'm no good at uh, like graphic design stuff. I tried learning how to draw for a while, but I don't know. I just, uh, and whenever I say this, like, you know, I, I don't feel like I have the, uh, what it takes to be, you know, creative, uh, creative, like, artist kind of, like, thing, like, drawing and graphic design and all that. Like, I just, I don't, I don't have the, the, like, brain for it. I, people get, like, upset at me for it, right? Like, they're like, well, anybody can do it if you put your mind to it. I'm like, no, I, I think my brain actually works differently. I'm pretty sure, I'm I'm pretty sure my brain just actually works differently, and and I, I can't do it as well as, as other people who have the brain for it. Like, you know, like my brain, you know, I'm autistic, right? And I'm not saying that auti like autistic people can't be good at uh, at uh, at art because obviously they can. There have been some fantastic uh, autistic artists, but you know, if, if if our brains can do that to us, then I'm I'm pretty sure. That they could also be like, yeah, you just can't draw. If you can't, uh, you you don't have the eye for uh, for what looks good and what doesn't. You can't you can't do it. And no matter how much I uh, I learn, I can't do it. And like maybe if I put some time into it, I could get to a point where I can make something that looks good. But like, I don't know. I f I feel like if I were to be making something that looks good, it wouldn't be because of uh, what I thought would be like fun or whatever. It'd be like. This is a good thing to do. Put this shape here, you know, like that's 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 what my brain does, you know? It's more of a the analytical kind of um logical kind of thing. And uh like artwork and emotional stuff just kind of it just it flies on past me. I've got ideas, right? I got ideas, honestly, I do, but they never look good. <laughs> and uh I can't put them into I can't put them into onto paper. But it used to upset me uh, because I used to want to draw. I used to want to, and I actually tried putting in some time to learn. And I actually got a uh, I got a uh, a square drawn once, and uh, I had it shaded, and it looked like a 3D square on the paper. And I was like, "Wow, I did that! I did that! That's what I did!" And then uh, I don't know. I just, I just stopped. I stopped caring. So I tried moving into other stuff. It's like, okay, now draw a ball, and I'm like, oh, you got, you lost me. You've lost me. You want me to try a ball? Like, no, you've lost me. Like, think about where the sun's coming from. Like, I can't. I, I can't do that. It just, I try, I try to picture where the, where the light is coming from, and I'm just like, um, yeah, no, there is, there is no light. So you have to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Matriarch is uh, is a little bit of a pathetic uh, 
boss these days. You know when uh, when the series started, I'd had trouble with her. <laughs> you know, I'd be like, "Oh, it's the matriarch again." How do we do that nowadays? It's just that. <laughs> it's oh, it's so good. Just just thinking back on myself as I would uh, get the matriarch and be like, "Yeah, I just I don't think I can kill the matriarch every time. Like we're just gonna die sometimes, you know." And now it's just matriarch. Oh yeah, I'll just stand still. <laughs> I'll just stand still. Oh, it's it's so funny to me watching the uh, the improvements. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.